So in this video I am going to show how to make a placket v-neck that opens basically um, which gives the neck a little bit extra when taking it on and off. I also finish it on the outside with a little decorative stitch which I think looks quite nice. So we're going to do a little bit of theory first and then I'll show you a bit on the sewing machine. First of all just with um, a paper v-neck so it'll look something like that. Now if I flip this over, you can see on the other side that these two bits have folded wide and that that cut is needed to allow these pieces to fold flat on either side. So um, I've just sewn taped this little bit back up again, but you can see the little dark line where it's actually going to reach straight down there to this bit of a point here where these two folds, where your stitching is gonna go Will line up. So we have our two plackets, okay, and they're going to end up folded onto the inside, okay. So each of them are going to be stitched on and then folded in. Now, now, with these plackets that you have, you want to make sure that they are going to be sitting at the right angle for your V. So what I do is I just set them along the line there, and then I'm going to fix these two bits here to hold them in place. So I've cheated with a big lump of cello tape, but what you're actually going to do is stitch it along the dotted line. This will hold your V at the right angle and the right shape. Now these stitches I put right along the edges. They're, they're not really going to be ones that you're using later. I think some people might call them a stay stitch. They're just holding this V in the right shape and your ultimate stitching is going to go along the inside of these okay and trim off the extra bits at the bottom so here I have my new piece of material that is all cut for my the front of my scrubs here is the two placket pieces and I have stay stitched the V in the right shape so the V now matches the V of the actual garment all right Ultimately, this is going to be sitting in behind here, and these little bits are going to be folded in and under. But we don't sew it like that, so what we have to do is start by sewing this raw edge to this raw edge. So I take my V, and I flip it over like this, and I line up this raw edge here with this raw edge here. Now, what do I do down here? I've got to make the center of this bit here line up the center of this bit along with my stitching here. So my stitching is going to be here roughly one centimeter in and when I take that right down get to the center line I'm going to have a point here that is going to line up with a point about here. Okay so I can't do that one-handed so I will just cut it. So now I have it all lined up if you look in the detail here, I have got this lined up. So this dot is now on the center fold of the front material. It's one centimeter in from either side and it's obviously lining up directly underneath the V. I'm going to be stitching down this side here as far as this dot, dropping the needle in and then swizzling this all around to the other side. Uh, so here we have the sewing machine with a line I'm going to stitch, a pin at the bottom, and here's my little dot lined up just below the V here and on this fabric line, but it's also central across the V here. So it's also on the line between this notch and the point that I cut. So I'm just going to stitch right the way down here and then drop the needle into this little blue dot and then I'm going to cut this bit underneath the needle while the needle is dropped so that these, this piece here can then fold back so that I can then bring this around this way and stitch up the other side. Okay, so here I've stitched on this placket. There's extra bit up the top here. I've stitched all the way down here. And there's my blue dot. There's the little V of my material. 
Um, there's the stay stitching I did originally and I'm stitching completely to the inside of that so when I go back up the other side um, you won't see this at all in the finished garment. So what I need to do now is basically I've dropped the needle right down into the blue dot. I'm going to lift my uh, foot now and I'm going to turn this around a bit so that we can start to think about coming up the other side. Ultimately I'm going to stitch back up this direction here. But first I need to slide my scissors in and I'm not sure I can actually do this um, with one hand uh, but I'm going to make a cut from this V directly down to underneath the needle. So this bit is a little bit of a faff to do. Okay, so if you can see in there I've basically turned the, the scissors slightly sideways to make them fit in underneath and cut from the V directly down to where my needle is through all the material. Now the next bit is the bit that confused me to begin with. We need now to bring, I'm taking my hand here right there around the back to grab now the other side of the placket and I'm literally just swinging the whole thing right around. I should stay in focus, why isn't it stay in focus? There we go. Swinging it right around to bring this up to line up the other side. Okay, now that does feel like it shouldn't work. You want to make sure you're only going through the three layers of material, the two bits of the placket, uh, you know, either side of the placket, and your one bit of fabric. So you do a little bit of straightening out there, but you don't want to pull it too much, um, just enough to, to give you a straight run back up that other side. Okay, now as I say, one hand, uh, it's hard to actually show you what I'm doing there, but you're coming from that blue dot back up the other side now and we'll line this all up and it'll come to the end here and we can then cut off the extra bits. So I stitched a little bit now and you can see that the pink thread of the stitching I'm doing now touches the blue dot, comes up the other side and doesn't actually uh, in, impinge at all on the stay stitching we did earlier and then we we'll just uh, sew the rest of the placket up the other side to the end. So I've just lifted the whole thing out of the sewing machine and you can see where we did our stitching and finished and now if we turn this the right way around suddenly magically there we have our nice little V placket. Now sometimes I find I get a little catch here, I'm not perfect at this yet, but a little bit of uh, an iron will help that. So we want to next just iron all these bits back flat and we're going to finish it off by top stitching along here to hold the back of the placket against the front material. And there we are, that's the be done and a wee bit of over stitching along here as well. I can chop these bits off later and the back of it looks like this. So you can see the pink stitching where I was stitching it on. You can see the over stitching which is the one with the wee zigzag and just there you can also see where the stay stitching was on the outside. Seems a bit of stitching and then of course there's the blue dot that we used to line everything up that um, keeps it all straight. So there we go. Have fun. Enjoy.